Hey y'all, it's Caitlin. I got a little friend. So I asked you guys in the Big Dog Dave auction win video uh, how you wanted to look at statue review videos if you wanted them. Uh, as of recording this video, that video hasn't been posted yet. I'm doing it because I want to and also because in the next couple days I want to get down here start rearranging some of these damn shelves, <laughs> including the Wonder Woman shelf. I got some other statues of Wonder Woman tail end of last year, you know, around Christmas time. Uh, some of them I'm not going to be doing a video on them, uh, just for reasons, but I need to rearrange the shelf again. It doesn't feel like that long since I did it the last time, but gotta do it. And also, I, I will wait. Well, no, I'm not going to. Never mind. I was about to say, I might go live if you guys want to, but probably be doing it before this video goes live but anyway maybe a live stream might not be might be a live stream for something else too I haven't decided yet but anyway let's go ahead I think I did open this up when I got it so this is the Wonder Woman premium statue from Diamond Select premium collection if you guys have been following this channel you know a little bit about the Diamond Select gallery line now the gallery line is used to be 35 bucks uh, now it's closer to 50 unfortunately. But you get very accurate uh, portrayals of the animated D DC characters and other characters as well. I did a storm not too long ago um, for Marvel. Very accurate detailed statues for a very reasonable price still. 50 bucks, still a reasonable price. That's made out of PVC. They're resin statues simply because it's resin. It's a little bit more. This is around 100 bucks, 150 something like that. And I got number 174 out of 3,000 for the Wonder Woman one. This is the only one I have thus far. It's the only one I really want. If they make a hot girl, you know damn well it's going on that shelf right there. But anyway, but anyway let's go ahead out. There we go. I do believe this is all one piece. It's been a while since I've taken it out to look at it. And I did do a, a bust of Wonder Woman not too long ago, a review of that one. Also by Diamond Select. Diamond Select is killing it with the animated line, you guys, for both Justice League, Batman, all of them. So this statue is extremely heavy. <laughs> the, the PVC ones, you could toss lightly up in the air and have near zero problem with it. This one would not recommend that. Uh, at all this base is heavy like the step like wonder woman herself is okay but the base is very solid and very stable i will say that and there is a hand written number for it on that side of or on the bottom of the base so here is wonder woman as she was in justice league the animated series and justice league unlimited with her golden lasso awesome 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 i love it yeah you know, the animated line had or the animated look had such a simplistic design you know three stars on the back three stars on or three stars on the front three on the back very simple breastplate simple tiara bracelets boots everything but it's so iconic you can see it instantly the hair shape of it is probably the most distinct feature about this wonder woman from the animated series. Hang on, let me go ahead and set her down. There we go. I do think it'd be cooler if they tinted the uh, lasso a little bit to make it a little bit less yellow, but I guess in the show it was all also yellow. I think I made that same <laughs> complaint with the bust. Don't know why, but I do. The makeup is spot on, or does she wear makeup? There was one scene where she got offended at makeup. But her eyes, her lips, perfect shades. Her earrings are perfect. And I do like how they made... You can see it better on the back. So there's blue on the side of the bottom half of her outfit. And then black in the middle. They did that a lot to show shadow at the time. It wasn't really supposed to be all black, I don't think. But it was meant to sh show more of a shadow. And so, and you could see it much more distinctly on the bottom half of her outfit in the show than you could on the top half. So I think this absolutely works. 
I love it. Now, unfortunately, there are a few um, paint mess ups. The red on the boots is bleeding a little bit uh, onto the white. The white of this boot is bleeding a little bit onto her knee. And if you look really close at where she's attached to the base, it almost looks like I took my super glue and put it on there. I don't know if that's how they attached it. It, it, it honestly looks like it's probably one solid piece and they reinforced it with glue or something. I'm not honestly sure. It's probably a peg in there that's been glued in, most likely. But yeah, it, it it's not the most professional looking thing. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but trust me, when you look up close to it, you can tell. But you know, it's there. It's not a $300 statue. I'm not gonna complain too, too much about it. And it was something that I've been wanting for a while. And also, I can't really tell if she's supposed to be standing on part of the javelin or part of the Hall of Justice. I'm going to say the Javelin 7. I don't know. Uh, if you guys know the show, let me know what you think it is. Because I know Superman and Batman are standing on similar bases. Uh, and I don't know if they're meant to be fit together. Probably so. I don't know. But this is a really amazing statue. Again, not my favorite Wonder Woman in my collection at all. But definitely up there. This was my first introduction to Wonder Woman was the Just League. Uh, animated TV series uh, and then following by Justice League Unlimited. Uh, actually, I think I watched the Justice League animated series, which is season one and two, and then I watched the Linda Carter show all three seasons, and then I watched Justice League Unlimited. That might have been the word that I watched it in. I honestly can't remember. Um, but yeah, this, this is definitely important to me. There's also an air bubble in the paint on her breastplate. A lot of times when you're spraying on paint or even even painting it on, you can get air bubbles at times. You can pop it while it's still wet, but if it dries with that bubble there mid-pop, yeah, you can tell and you can see it on here. <laughs> but again, I'm not going to complain too much about it. It's Is it a cheap statue? No. But it's also not a $300, $600 statue like some of them can be, like from Sideshow or even DC Collectibles back when it was a thing. Uh, what is the company now? I can't remember. But there's some new statues going up uh, designed by DC sort of direct, but by another company. Uh, is it McFarlane? I think it's McFarlane's doing statues now, not just the action figures. I saw them on Entertainment Earth. Uh, they look pretty good. They look very good. Uh, I need to order one. <laughs> order at least one just to see the quality. You know, compare it to like the DC Direct. Like the actual DC Direct stuff. Like the bombshells. Because the bombshells are perfect. In every single <laughs> Might I might be a little biased saying that. But who cares. But anyway, so this is... I think I got this off of Entertainment Earth actually. I think I did. But anyway guys, that is... Wonder Woman premium collection statue from Diamond Select. Uh, pretty short video, sorry. Uh, but also not that much to say about this one. It's awesome. It's stable. Even, I've, I did forget that. It's very stable even though there's only one piece connecting to the base. But it's not swiveling. It's not trying, you know, to go anywhere. The lasso itself is solid. It looks like it's all made of solid resin. So it should hold steady as long as you don't drop it. And I'm supposed to rearrange soon. Oh my god. But anyway. Anyway, wish me luck with that. So let me know what you guys think about this st statue. What is your favorite version of Wonder Woman? This one is mine. Linda Carter's is Mama J. What is yours? Um, I am getting a little bit tired of the Gal Gadot. Well, I have nothing against Gal Gadot Wonder Woman. I think she's amazing as Wonder Woman. Um, but a lot of the stuff about her just looks all the same for me. I don't know. I had this debate in my head a little while ago, so I'm just speaking it out now. Because there's an ornament coming out from Hallmark this year with Gal Gadot in it as the Wonder Woman again. And it just looks like most of the other ones I already have of her. I'm looking at my Wonder Woman tree now. So yeah, I'm probably done buying a lot of the Gal Gadot stuff unless there is a third movie. Um, 
yeah I just like if if your favorite version is the Gal Gadot I'm not trying to take away from that I'm just saying me personally I'm kind of tired of collecting her but let me know what you guys th think about this Wonder Woman your favorite Wonder Woman and is there any version of her you would like to see in statue or collectible form I would still love to see more bombshell stuff uh, I would love to see Wonder Girl in bombshell we have a couple versions of Wonder Woman as a bombshell statue It'd be kind of cool if some other companies started making them up since DC is not doing it anymore. Uh, picked up the statue line like McFarlane uh, or anyone else really and started just giving us new uh, bombshell statues. Maybe even a hot girl version? It's always going to go back to hot girl for me. But anyway guys, let me know what you guys thought about this. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. Remember like always, this is Community Not Competition and I'll see y'all later. Bye!